Hi, welcome to another video. This video, hopefully only five or six minutes, I'm going to be talking about Microchip's charge time measurement unit on this PIC microcontroller behind this box. I was messing about with the screen, you may have seen a previous video, and whilst the screen was connected, I thought I'd experiment with the charge time measurement unit. It has many features for measuring like capacitance or minute amounts of time and because it has that feature it can be used as a capacitive touch. So that's the 18F microcontroller. I've got two wires, this green and black, connected to two ADC channels and locked to digital converters. I've pulled these two wires out and run them to the front. So here's the two wires. This one's stuck down to the paper with a bit of blue tack. And this is the other wire, running to a PCB. This board's not fully populated yet, so all I've done is run one of the ADC wires to a 500K resistor to a ground pin on top. There is no ground plane uninsulated on this side. So that's one board, here's the other board, no components. Same again, one wire, 500K resistor to a ground and they are both insulated with this anti-static bag that this Midas display came in actually. So two blank boards, nothing else. So two boards, one wire to each, no components being used, although there are components on the back of this one, but just ignore them. You can see I'm on an empty pin here, coming down to this ground here. If your microcontroller has the charge time measurement unit, run down to that section microchip give you a working example for capacitive touch. I'll give you a quick look at the code on the screen. So after enabling the capacitive touch, enabling two ADC channels, I'll put the code in to show more. Oh, so these two numbers are the ADC registers and you can see they're hovering round about 800. Well, it's difficult to get everything in view and get this camera close enough so you can see the screen. Watching this yellow one for the right and the green for the left. Should have done it the other way around, should have swapped the colours, shouldn't I? But, so this green one, what's the yellow? on, off, on, very responsive. But if I keep my finger on it, you can see the voltage hovering around about three, three to 400 millivolts. Where's it? It's coming down to 200. And there's my function. Anything less than six will turn this on. So a switch without a switch, fantastic and one wire, nothing else. And if I touch this other one, you can see this top number coming down to three. By using these buttons, although we see a, we see a percentage here, naught to 100% for the servo travel, it's actually counting to near 4,000 and in a for loop counting to 4,000 doing nothing else just 0 to 4,000 gives me a 2 millisecond delay so with a 2 millisecond delay plus I already turn a port on for 500 microseconds that's 2.5 milliseconds which will give full travel on the servo I demonstrated that the other week so let me just show you this capacitive touch no, it's not conducting any current as such. Put this bit of paper on there, because we know paper conducts. There we go, it's on. Hopefully, hopefully you can see this turning on and off. Now if I move it to the other one, but I've got to be careful because the servo goes quickly in one direction. 200 counts one direction 
and just 10 coming back. Here's a pink bag from Farnell. Yeah, that one's flashing. If I press this one. So two wires, two resistors, gives you full capacitive touch. After I used it for a few minutes, I got bored with having to press this one to bring the servo back slowly the other way. So I'll show you what I did. So I have the servo go one way, quickly, 100%, and one touch. And if you want a little gimmick, if I keep my finger on this one up so the server doesn't come back and knock everything, touch them both together, scroll through the colours. What colour do you like? There we go. Capacitive touch at its finest. Thank you for watching.